Here are 30 most commonly asked material master data related interview questions. With detailed and informative answers for SAP MM materials management interviews. 1. What is material master data in SAP MM? Answer. Material master data is a centralized repository in SAP MM that contains information about materials such as raw materials, semi-finished goods, finished goods, and spare parts. It includes data related to procurement, production, inventory management, and sales. 2. What are the key views in the material master data record? Answer. The key views in material master data include basic data 1, basic data 2, sales, general or plant, sales, sales or data 1, purchasing, and accounting views. Each view contains specific information related to different aspects of the material. 3. Explain the significance of the basic data. 1. View in Material Master. Answer. The basic data 1 view in Material Master contains essential information, such as material type, industry sector, base unit of measure, and material group. It provides foundational details that influence how the material is processed in various SAP modules. 4. What is the purpose of the basic data 2 view in Material Master? Answer. The basic data 2 view includes additional details such as weight, volume, dimensions, and handling class. This information is important for logistics and plays a role in transportation and storage planning. 5. Explain the sales general or plant view in material master answer the sales general or plant view contains data related to sales including sales organization distribution channel and division it is crucial for sales order processing and determining how the material is sold six what information is stored in the sales sales or data one view answer the sales sales or Data 1 view includes details specific to a sales organization, such as pricing information, tax classification, and minimum order quantity. This data is used in sales order creation and pricing determination. 7. Explain the purchasing view in Material Master. Answer. The purchasing view contains data relevant to procurement, including the vendor, purchasing organization, and various procurement-related settings. It is crucial for the procurement process, including purchase requisitions and purchase orders. 8. What is the significance of the accounting view in Material Master? Answer. The accounting view includes accounting-related information, such as valuation class, material ledger, and account assignment category. It is essential for financial accounting and inventory valuation. 9. How do you extend Material Master data to different plant locations? Answer. Material Master data can be extended to different plant locations using the transaction code MO1 create material and selecting the appropriate plant in the plant data or storage view. Alternatively, RAS extension can be done using transaction code M17. 10. Explain the concept of material types in Material Master data. Answer. Material types in material master data categorize materials based on their characteristics and usage. Examples include raw materials, finished goods, trading goods, and services. Material types determine the views and fields applicable to a material. 11. What is the significance of the material group in material master data? Answer. The material group is a classification used to group materials with similar characteristics. It is assigned in the basic data one view and is often used for reporting, searching, and grouping materials in various SAP processes. 12. How is the material master data linked to the vendor master data in SAP? MM? Answer. The link between material master data and vendor master data is established through the purchasing view. In the purchasing view, the vendor number is specified along with relevant procurement data, creating a connection between the material and the vendor. 13. Explain the significance of the material master data number material number. Answer. 
the material master data number, also known as the material number, or MATNER, is a unique identifier assigned to each material in SAP. It is crucial for referencing and managing materials throughout the various SAP processes. 14. How do you create a new material master data record in SAP? MM? Answer. To create a new material master data record, use the transaction code MO1 create material. Enter the material type, industry, sector, and other relevant information in the appropriate views. After entering the data, save the record. 15. Explain the concept of material status in material master data. Answer. Material status in material master data presents the current status of a material, such as released, locked, or restricted. It helps control the usage and availability of materials for various processes. 16. How do you change existing material master data in SAP? MM? Answer. To change existing material master data, use the transaction code MO2 change material. Enter the material number, make the necessary modifications in the relevant views, and save the changes. 17. What is the purpose of the Engineering Change Management ECM in Material Master Data? Answer. Engineering Change Management ECM in Material Master Data allows for tracking and managing changes to materials, including revisions, updates, and discontinuations. It ensures proper documentation and control over material changes. 18. Explain the concept of batch management in material master data. Answer. Batch management in material master data enables tracking and management of materials produced or procured in batches. It is crucial for industries where the characteristics of each batch need to be monitored and documented. 19. How does the material master data integrate with other SAP modules such as SD and PP? Answer. Material master data integrates with other SAP modules through views specific to those modules. For example, the sales, sales or data one view integrates with sales and distribution SD, while the MIPRP views integrate with production planning PP. 20. Explain the concept of material ledger in material master data. Answer. Material ledger in material master data is used for multiple valuation approaches in different currencies. It enables the management of materials with various valuation methods based on legal and group accounting requirements. 21. What are the key fields in the basic data? One view. And why are they important? Answer. Key fields in the basic data one view include material type, material group, base unit of measure, and industry sector. These fields provide foundational information that determines how the material is processed and managed in SAP. 22. How do you handle material valuation in material master data? Answer. Material valuation is configured in the accounting view of material master data. It includes settings such as valuation class, price control standard, or moving average, and currency for valuation. 23. Explain the purpose of the alternative units of measure in material master data. Answer. Alternative units of measure in material master data allow for expressing quantities in different units. This is useful for reporting and transactions where materials may be measured or traded in units other than the base unit of measure. 24. What is the significance of the plant data or storage view in material master data? Answer. The plant data or storage view includes data related to the material storage and handling at a specific plant. It includes information on storage locations, stock status, and special handling instructions. 25. How does the material master data support the procure to pay P2P process? Answer. Material master data supports the procure to pay process by providing essential information for creating purchase requisitions, purchase orders, and goods receipts. It includes details such as material group, vendor, and procurement settings. 26. Explain the role of the industry sector in material master data. Answer. 
The industry sector in Material Master Data defines the industry-specific attributes and settings for a material. It influences how the material is processed and managed, providing industry-specific functionality and behavior. 27. What is the significance of the quality management come view in Material Master Data? Answer. The quality management come view includes data related to quality inspection and testing of materials. It is crucial for industries where the quality of materials needs to be monitored and controlled. 28. How does the Material Master Data support the order to cash O2C process? Answer. Material Master Data supports the order to cash process by providing information for sales orders, deliveries, and billing. It includes details such as sales organization, distribution channel, and pricing information. 29. Explain the concept of the division in the sales, general, or plant view. Answer. The division in the sales, general, or plant view is used for grouping materials based on different product lines or business segments. It is important for sales reporting and analysis. 30. What are the challenges in material master data maintenance, and how do you overcome them? Answer. Challenges in material master data maintenance include data accuracy, consistency, and timely updates. Overcoming these challenges requires implementing data governance policies, regular reviews, and providing training to users responsible for material data maintenance. These questions and answers cover various aspects of material master data in the context of SAP MM providing a comprehensive understanding for interview preparation. Interviewers may tailor questions based on specific project requirements or the candidate's experience level. For more exciting tips, tricks and more importantly, for valuable insights of interviews, please share, like, and subscribe to my channel. It has a lot of valuable information about various insights of interviews. It has a wide range of real-world portfolio projects of various technologies for interviews, and it has wide range of most asked interview questions and answers of various technologies like data science, SAP, AWS, DevOps, and full-stack web development, and more. That will be useful during interviews. It has a wide range of most asked interview questions and answers in real-world portfolio projects of various technologies for freshers. For two to three years, experienced candidates, and for five or above years, experienced candidates to test their skills by knowing most. Ask interview questions and make themselves ready for interviews.